It says, Dear Monique, I love, love, love the show. Keep that music coming. Quick question. I have heard you discuss this type of stuff on your show, and I need your take on this. I live with my big brother and his wife, who I'm very close to. I think my brother is having an affair with a close family friend. Should I tell my sister-in-law or let it slide? They have two young kids. She is gorgeous, hardworking, and I think she can do better than my brother. Ouch. Oh, my goodness. Did I read that right? <laughs> she said they have two young kids. She's gorgeous, hardworking, and I think she can do way better than my brother. Just send me honest thoughts. Well, that's what we do right here on The Spice Drive. We keep it honest. We keep it real. And you can chime in. I'm going to be telling you what I think about that. Okay? You can call in on 0719012600. I can see the phone lines are already buzzing. But I'm going to make sure that I read it for you one more time. Oh, my goodness. It says, Dominique, love the show. Keep that music coming. Quick question. I have heard that you discuss this type of stuff on your show, and I need your take on this. I live with my big brother and his wife, who I'm very close to. I think my brother is having an affair with a very close family friend. Should I tell my sister-in-law or should I let it slide? They have two young kids. She's gorgeous and she's hardworking, and I think she can do better than my brother. Just give me honest thoughts. You heard her? Honest thoughts only. 0719012600. What do you think? Good evening. How are you? Good, good. And yourself? I'm great. What's your name and who am I talking to? <laughs> My name is Kevin. Hi, Kevin. How are you doing? Not bad at all. I'm, I'm very worried about this message I've just had this guy sent about his brother. Yes, it's crazy. And that happens in my DM. And, uh, you know, here we keep it real. Um, uh, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, okay, fine. So, first of all, he may probably not want to address this with the sister-in-law yes but we also need to understand whether the he's actually talking for himself or he's actually saying the truth well the situation is um it's it's a girl who's living with the brother and very close to the sister-in-law yes <laughs> so 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 she's living with the brother and you know of course there's that respect it's my big brother and uh you want to maintain that but you're also close to his wife who happens to be the sister-in-law how do you balance wow. that out wow okay interesting yeah. i feel you're that guy Yes. No, it's fine. Let me listen to what other people have to say. All right, fantastic. Great to have you here. Yes, this is the Spice Drive. You can call in as well. Good evening. How are you doing? Yeah, Monique. Yes. Hey, this is Sylvia. Hey, Sylvia, talk to me. Uh huh. Up yeah, it's so uh, complicated. Sana, sana, sana. Again, again, I'm looking at the kids. You know, when he spills out the beans, the yes. kids are Yes. I mean, you know, no, no, watch a ground with the different, watch a chisel different. I mind his own business, by the way. I want to watch the Kiliao. Wow, Sylvia, are you saying <laughs> a step back and let them do what <laughs> they're doing? Let them mind my own business, actually, because Glam is not like that. I was in Jua, why that guy go that extent of having another relationship besides. Wow, wow, Maybe wow. Thing is missing inside that relationship. So let him go for it. I just let him as far as top of your family. Thank you so much for your contribution. That's crazy. She said, Achese Chini. Um, you know, I'm learning. I'm learning really fast. And, uh, you know, we're keeping it real. Share your honest thoughts about this. And uh, this is the current situation. This is what slid in my DM. It says, Dear Monique, I love the show. Keep that music coming. It's all about those throwbacks. And you say, Quick question. I have heard you discuss this type of stuff on your show. And I need to t your take on this. I live with my big brother and his wife, who I'm very, very close to. I think my brother is having having an affair with a close family friend should i tell my sister-in-law or should i let it slide sylvia says Achese Chini. they have two young girls uh two young kids she's gorgeous hardworking, and i think she can do better than my brother what is your take well if you didn't know now you know the phone lines are open 0719012600 what advice would you give this girl and you know it's going to be a hard place to live you know when you're sitting across the dinner table and you know something that uh you know the the, the, the wife doesn't know and, and you have to sit there and live through it hmm? i'm going to be telling you what i think about it and i'm going to keep it real and honest and you can do the same oh seven one nine zero one two six hundred let me know where you're calling from i'm waiting for your uh, advice on this we're going to fix it together good evening how are you hi hi how are you i'm great what's your name and where are you calling from 
Yes. I'm calling from Ogadrogai. Yes. yes. Mm, I think these guys should just talk. They should talk. Yeah, you know, challenge. No, challenge mm. people. Mm. Mm. You know, you can see something that might backfire on you. Yes. You know, you just you know, you should not get involved in this. Yes. What is happening here? You you leave it alone. You let them fix it on their own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might see something. It might backfire. And it will backfire on you because you're related to the other person. Exactly. You should just keep calm. Wow, that's a valid point. Thanks for the advice. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, Monique. Yes. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Sally. I'm calling you from Nairobi. Yes. Talk to me. Now, for me, I think, um, uh, you know, morals, uh, whether that's my brother or not, blood yes. may be thicker than water, but let's be moral. Yes. Okay. Of course, I'd talk to my brother about it on the side. Yes. And, and warn him about it. And if not, then probably we can have a sit in, you know, the wife, myself and him. And then Everybody to sit down there. Communication is key. Yes. Yeah. You know, when I think of uh, having a relative, living with a relative in my culture, I think it's a no-no in the first place because situations like uh, these arise. Absolutely. So, so and then you, you are forced to take sides. So, in, okay, of course, it's very tough for me to pick between my brother and my very good sister-in-law. Yes. However, we just have to be fair yes. and just, I'm also a woman like her. What if it happened to me? Exactly. So, so we, there's no relation here. I'm pretty shocked. Like a woman can talk, you know, like that. Mm. To another woman. For me, uh, I think that's pretty uh, shocking. It is shocking. Relation aside, it's about morals. I like what you've said. Absolutely. I hope uh, she's believed, you know, when she says something like that, because you could actually cause a rift between them and then you become the mm-hmm. in-law that separated mm-hmm. them, you know? Mm-hmm. How do you address that sensitivity? Uh, which one? The, the one in terms of... You know, because, you know, you're my you know, sister-in-law. You can, only, you can only do so much, Monique. Because, yes. again, here, like you're saying, it's a very sensitive issue. I wouldn't want to burn bridges with my sister-in-law and my brother. I'll speak to my brother. Yes. If he doesn't see the sense in it, I mean, then really, what more can you do? But at least you spoke about it. At least you let it out you and you are not part yeah. of something like that. Absolutely. It's, it's hard Absolutely. to live there. It's hard to live there. It is. In fact, <laughs> I would move out after that. If I she can, know. I think she should even move out of she the house. She should move out she of the house. Of, yeah, she, should, she shouldn't be part of all that. Nice. Thank you so much for your piece of advice. Thank you, Monique. Thank you. you. You're welcome. I'm enjoying the show. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow, move out, get out of there. Not my circus, not my monkeys. I'm not going to deal with it. Relation, no relation. It's all about morals. I like that contribution. You can also chime in and let me know what you think about this particular issue. You're living in a house. You know there's some monkey business going on and uh, you have to sit through it or uh, you have to, you know, uh, be moral police and say, listen, brother, you can't be doing this. I know what you're doing. I love my sister-in-law. You've got kids, you've got family. And moving forward, if you believe in karma, you know, know as a woman you're thinking i would like someone to tell me if they knew something was going on um with my husband this is crazy